It's okay to fight, listen to my words, and resist and go against that evil mentality of people believing that they're God, presenting themselves as God, being against Allah. Shirk, yes, we fight against that. We're not just armchair revolutionaries and just talking on the computer, uh, but we are involved and engaged in, in even being seen. Uh, so again, with these uh, uprisings and these events and things that are happening, that's okay to be there and be careful. Again, I'll, I'll reiterate that because they twist my words up. Well, you said you said in the Juma that we should be out there burning the stuff. I didn't say that. You heard what I said. I said that I was advocating for um, doing uh, uh, the upliftment of Maruf, the establishment of Maruf, and we went over those things, and the Nahya and al Munkar. And I said that uh, the engagement in those activities have a place. They have a place in revolution, in change, and they have a place in uh, bringing down oppressive systems. Yes, and, and I stand by that statement. But do know that there are some Asian provocateurs and that it's in the midst of these things, and, and y'all know who the police is and who the devil is, and don't be involved uh, in that. So, uh, and everybody's been throwing this quote around from uh, Dr. Martin Luther King that uh, riots are the voice of the voiceless. It has a place. It has a place. When, uh, 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 well, let me uh, relax. Uh, when people feel their pockets being hurt, uh, when people feel their businesses, and I'm talking about corporations, talking about corporations, Target is a corporation, right? These are corporate, I'm just using that one for example because it was in the news. And make sure that you are listening very carefully and not twisting my words when there he is condoning this and condoning that. Be careful and that's malarkey and I won't go for it for myself. But if, if we're asking the question on the level of, of understanding strategy in movements, okay, I'm answering the question from that perspective. Uh, when people take to the streets uh, and, and are in the streets and are uh, disrupting the norm, it gets the attention of the people who are engaged in the oppression, right? Uh, it, it wasn't until them white kids got out there burning stuff up that they arrested the officers in, in Kentucky, excuse me, in, uh, uh, yes, in, in, in Minneapolis. And even using the word protest and riot, those, 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 are, those words are, are loaded words. I say it uprisings, uh, that people are making themselves seen and making themselves heard and combating, actually combating uh, the oppressive system. The police department in Atlanta were receiving training or providing training, it may be both ways with, with the Zionist regime in, in Israel, right? Uh, and so actually engaging your uh, political officials and law enforcement in ensuring that that can't be done. You know, you, you can't be using the same thing that the Zionists are using on our people.